Perry of the circus. For Jerry of the circus. Come on, Alfredo. Hurry. I am coming. It must be really important, that telegram. It is important, Carmen. You will find out. All right, so I am ready now. What is all the excitement about? Carlos, I just received a telegram that he says will be the turning point in our lives. So? I hope it is not bad news. It is not bad. It is good, dear brother. Now we are all together. I read it to you. But come, come. Let us walk over to Mr. Randell's wagon. We will have him see it right away. All right, but hurry and read us the news. Please, Carlos. All right, I'll read it to you now. It says, the Bendinis in care of Randall's greatest shows. Well, then it is for all of us. Certainly. Go on, read, Carlos. It says, can offer ten weeks in circus picture with option. Stop. Our scout, Everett Daggett, suggests you for lead. Stop. Must arrive Hollywood and start work by 15th. Stop. Wire confirmation, Superba Pictures Corporation, Hollywood. And that is what is so important. I do not understand that. No, that is not good, Carlos. Only ten weeks' work, and with the circus, we can go on and on. You see, Carlos, you have get all excited over nothing. We could not get out of our contract with Mr. Randall. It would be foolish to give up such a good job just to be in a moving picture. You do not understand. This is wonderful. This is, uh, this is how you call a golden opportunity. If we are good, we will make more p moving pictures and maybe someday become great stars. Oh, I see. You are thinking, Carlos Bendini, the great lover. Oh, now, Carmen, <laughs> I think no such thing. I think all of us. I don't think we should bother Mr. Randall with such foolish. Come now, here is his wagon. He will tell you about it. I, I cannot explain it. I know what it means, but I cannot tell you. Our brother, Carmen, he wants to be movie star. Uh, yes? It is the Bentinis, Mr. Randall. Oh, come in, come in. Come, come now, come. Well, hello there. Hello, Woody. Mr. Randall. Hello. How are you? Well, what brings on this unexpected visit? We have got something important, Mr. Randall. Huh? You have got something, Carlos. Oh, it, it concerns all of us, Mr. Randall. <laughs> what is it? It is this telegram. Uh -huh. how, how you say... Uh, Hollywood is calling the great Bendinis. What's that? Uh, the moving pictures. They want the Bendinis. Let Mr. Randall see the telegram. Maybe he reads it and tell us what it means. Well, let me have a look at that wire, Carlos. Here, here you are, Mr. Randall. Uh -huh. now, now, now tell my brother and sister what a wonderful chance we have. Maybe you will explain just what it means, yes? Wow. Well. Hmm. It is only ten weeks' work, is, is that right? Yes, but with an option. Well, that means more work to follow? Exactly. If your first picture is a uh, success, they'll want you to stay on and make some more. See? Isn't that what I tell you? No, no, no. Wait a minute. You folks seem to forget that you're under contract to me for the remainder of the season. Oh, I know, Mr. Randall. That is why we have come to see you. If you will let us out of our contract, then we can go to Hollywood and go in moving pictures. Well, that's... Asking a lot, don't you think? But if it is really true that we are going in the movies, it would be a big chance for us. Yeah, for you, maybe, but what about me? I'd be without an act. I can't very well get someone to take your places in the middle of the season. No, I, I 
think I I don't think I can let you out of your contract. You'll just have to finish the season. But, Mr. Rondell, this is such a wonderful thing for the Bandini. Yeah, listen to him talk now. Now you see it is true, yes, Alfredo? Uh, I fully realize this means a lot to you and your future, and I'd like to let you go, but I just can't afford to have my circus go to pieces. Oh, please, Mr. Rondell. We would love to go to Hollywood. Oh, I know that, Carmen, and I'd like to see you go, but... Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Let me look through this file here. You have got an idea? Yeah, I, I remember getting a letter the other day from some other troop of wire walkers. Seems they, seems they said they were available. Let me see now. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. Uh, <clears throat> the Lopez troop. Oh, they are wonderful, Mr. Oh, Randall. You... They are better even than the great Vendanis. Oh, if you can get them, it would be wonderful. Uh, let's see, it says here that they're available to finish the season. Huh. And I'll tell you what I'll do. Yes? You'd like to try your luck in Hollywood, wouldn't you? Oh, certainly. Sure, Mr. Oh, it would be but wonderful. Yes, Mr. Randall. <laughs> Never let it be said that Sam Randall stood in the way of anyone's success. Then you will let us go? Why, sure. I'll get a wire off to the Lopez troop right away. They can join the show tomorrow. Then we can leave tonight so we will be in Hollywood on time? You can leave right after the night show. I think you'll get a westbound train out of here, all right? Oh, I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Randall. It is wonderful you're going uh, to let us go. <laughs> That's all right. I'm glad to do it. Ah, you're a very good man, Mr. Randall. The Bendinis will never forget you. Come now. We must start to pack. Yes, huh? and I'll never forget the Bendinis. I wish you all the luck in the world, and I hope you make a hit in the movies, but just in case something goes wrong, you know, I, I want you to know you can always join the Randall show. Well, I'll see you later on, then. Oh, thank you again oh, you and again. Goodbye, Mr. Goodbye, Mr. Goodbye, 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 folks. Come on, Regs. Here they come now. Carlos, Alfredo. Hello, Jerry. Hello, oh, so, Regs. You and Jerry have come to say goodbye, yes? I watched your act from the pad room. Good boy, Jerry. You were wonderful tonight. Aren't we always wonderful? Oh, sure, but I mean, I thought you were especially good tonight. Even Bumps said that, too. Bumps was watching our act? Bumps? Say, everybody was watching tonight. There were a lot of folks that never caught your act before and wanted to see it. So they had their last chance tonight and took it. Here, Carlos, put these things in the trunk. Hello! Oh, come on in, Bumps. Well... Just about ready to leave, huh? We have got just a few things more to pack. Well, you're sure lucky to be able to go to Hollywood and go in the movies. A uh, chance like this doesn't come to everybody. Yes, we know that, Bumps. And thanks to Mr. Randell, we are able to go. Well, it was nice of him to let you out of your contract. You know what, Ray? Oh, oh, it's Carmen. Come in, Carmen. Are you boys straight? Yes, we are almost ready to leave. Come in. Look, look what I have here. Wait, wait until I turn it around. So, <laughs> a great big picture of Major Mike. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'll say it's a big one. <laughs> he would not let me get away without taking it with me. It is life size, and he wants me to have it. Well, oh, say, he's written something on the picture. Uh, what is it? It says, to Carmen, affectionately. Major Mike. Well, now, that's pretty good. Eh? But we cannot take this with us. It is too big. It will be in the way always. The picture comes right along with us. When the Major heard we were leaving, he was heartbroken. Why, sure. Take it along. I have to. I promised to him I would always keep it with me. He is very nice. I would not want to hurt his feelings. Here, Alfredo, help me shut this trunk. Coming. Well, what about your trappings and wires? I have arranged to have them sent on to us. Do you imagine going in the movies? Well, now, you'd be sure and let us know the name of the picture you're in. <laughs> Jerry and I'll have to go see it. And we'll stay for two shows. Oh, it'll seem funny to sit in the theater and, and watch the Bendinis on the screen. <laughs> you all set, folks? Oh, yes, Mr. Randall, we are just about ready to leave. We will be on our way in a few minutes. Uh, what'd you find out about a train going west? Oh, there is one in half an hour. Good, well, but you'll have to hurry. We will go in taxi and be on time. Uh, hello, what's this? Oh! This is a life-size picture of Major Mike. Oh, I see. <laughs> he is so sorry that we are leaving. Oh, you okay. mean he's sorry you're leaving, Carmen? <laughs> no, Jerry. Oh, he was almost crying. He told me I should have this big picture of him so I will always think of him. <laughs> As though it would be easy to forget him. <laughs> yeah. That was nice of the Major, a little sentimental, but still nice. Here, Carlos. 
You can carry this suitcase. I will take the little one. Oh, want me to carry something? Oh, yeah, sure. We can give you a hand. Oh, thank you. We can manage all right. Yeah. Oh, are you ready now? Yes, I think we've got everything. Well, well, we say goodbye to our wagon now. We feel like we are leaving home. This wagon has been our home for so long. Well, you're going on to big things, so there's no use being sad about leaving a circus dressing room wagon. That is right. Well, goodbye. It is hard to say, but we have to go now. Well, I'll walk out to the street with you while you get your cab. All right. Goodbye, Tags. Come, come, give me your paw. Ah, that's it, fella. Goodbye, Tags. Goodbye, Jerry and Bumps. Not goodbye. Just so long. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just put it that way, huh? Well, so long, all of you. And lots of luck in Hollywood. Goodbye, Jerry. 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 Goodbye, Mm, it's a nice family, those Benjamins. Rags, come here. Now what are you running back of the wagon for? Hiya. Oh, it's you, Tom. Come on, sit down on the steps here. I've got something to tell you, Jerry. Oh, go ahead and tell it. It's all right for Bumps to hear it, isn't it? Oh, sure. It's nothing important. Well, what's on your mind, Tom? Well, I just heard Leo say that there was a man by the name of uh, Colonel Alger is going to be with us. Uh, what? Yeah. And Leo's sure anxious to see him. Who's Colonel Alger, Bumps? Why, that's the 24-hour man, the advance man for the circus. But I thought we'd never get to see him. You said he was always ahead of the show. Well, that's what I can't figure out. Must be some special business he has to take up with Mr. Wren. Huh? That's what Leo thought, too. Why, he's the greatest character in the circus world. Was he a soldier or something, Bumps? Oh, oh, you mean because of the Colonel moniker? Yeah. No, he got that title bestowed on him by the governor of Kentucky years ago. And he's been Colonel ever since. Oh, say, it'll sure be good to see Charlie. Now, there's a man that can tell you stories about circus life. Oh, and real ones, too. <laughs> say, he's been in the business for years. Why, well, he had a medicine show when he was just a youngster. You think he'll tell us some of the stories? Just as long as you listen, he'd rather talk me. You boys are sure going to like Charlie Alger, all right? He's just come from Fordham, and I'm going to ask him if he knows anything about my father. Hey, that's an idea. Sure. He might know where he is, or if he's in Fordham, or something about yeah, him. Yeah, if you see him before I do, and be sure to tell him to come around and look me up. All right, I will. <laughs> yes, sir, boys. You'll find old Colonel Charlie Alger, one of the grandest men you've ever met. And you'll remember him all the rest of your life. Gee, I'm sure anxious to meet him. Me too. <laughs> 